Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Capricorns. This is Queen of Moon Rock coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hopefully you all are having a happy Sunday. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Let's get right into your reading. We are moving towards another new moon, which is great. Yes, you know, new moon energy is where you're going to be planting those seeds of intentions and you're going to be watering them. But you're also going to be very careful about who you share those intentions with, right? Yeah, by now you know. Plus, we're going to be talking about the number 1111. Yes, we've talked about 11 before, but never 1111. So we're going to talk about that number. All right, let's go. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Capricorns as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Capricorns need to take action. I'm talking to my loyal, hardworking team players who are also very ambitious, classy, creative, great managers of people, money, and time. Exhibit a great deal of self-control, self-discipline, extremely responsible goats. Greatest of all time. I'm talking about my sea goats. Yes, your ruling planet Saturn is retrograde right now. Yes, yes, yes. So Capricorns, I need you all to start using everything that you have to create your new world, right? We're talking about death, rebirth. What is it that you want to leave behind in your old world? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is there addiction of any sort, person, place, or thing, or people, places, and things that you want to leave in your old uh, world, moving into your new world? So this is new world, right? Yes. You don't want to just be somebody who's on a conveyor belt, moving by fear, right? Fear of this, fear of that. Some people can read between the lines. But again, no fear moving forward, All, only in faith. Let's see what these cards have to say. Aha, uh -huh. so you see, Death Rebirth card came out very nice. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So listen, we're looking at the Nine of Cups, right? Also, the Eight of Cups, mm -hmm. the Five of Cups, uh-huh, lots of emotion there. Some of you all have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. We also have the Star card, which is attached to Aquarius, which is a fixed sign. So you all are fixated on becoming completely healed. You have the Two of Swords, uh-huh. We also have the Death Rebirth card, which is Scorpio which is uh, one of Scorpio's ruling planets is retrograde right now, Pluto. So your ruling planet is retrograde. Yours in Aquarius ruling planet is retrograde, Saturn. A planet Aquarius has two ruling planets, Saturn and Uranus. And then you have death rebirth, which is Scorpio's, is Scorpio and Scorpio's ruling planet. Pluto is also retrograde along with Jupiter and Neptune. Let's talk about your reading for just a second and talk about new world. Okay. So in the old world for you, there was fear, there was doubt, there was an addiction of some sort, right? Doesn't necessarily, I'm not talking about drugs and alcohol, but I'm talking about an addiction, maybe to a certain lifestyle, whatever it was, you are healed from that, right? Complete and total healing, right? A lot of you all, look at this right here. This is where all this emotion is coming from in your cards. So let's look at all three of these cards, okay? The fear and doubt that you all were experiencing, right? The fear and doubt, um, which is gone now that you're healed from, was causing you to, for some of you all, to be sad, depressed, feeling hopeless when it came to your emotions and your creativity, right? Your creativity, because water, this is the cup's energy, is attached to emotions and creativity. So some of you all were just like emotionally out of balance, causing hopelessness, depression to some sort, maybe just feeling blue, not depression. Um, but just feeling just sad, like, okay, moving forward. I'm not really sure what, what, you know, what lies ahead for me until you got up from this place and started seeing all these stars in front of you. See real close stars, right? So, and we realize that, you know what? I, I have an option The shining. All I need to do is get as far away from people who have burned me in the past, right? See this fire right here? 
you've been purified. Let me get as far away from people who have burned me in the past. Some of those people who have burned you could have been Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but at a lower frequency, right? And now look at you, feeling a thousand percent better. See how this person is jumping out of a treasure chest? Yes. So when I say a lower vibration, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a higher vibration, fire sign, would not have burned you, right? Um, but when you, you use the same fire that you had to go through with some people, and I don't, it doesn't necessarily mean it's to their sun sign, okay? Let's just be clear. So you may be like, who? I can't think of a person then. I may know somebody who's a different sign than a fire sign, but they could have fire in their chart, right? But as soon as you walked away and you burned that bridge to a crisp, guess what happened? You felt a lot better, right? You are essentially stepping into your new world. You're not even looking back. You're no longer interested in feeling like this, feeling hopeless. You're starting to see how bright you shine without them. Yes. That person could be, like I said, addiction to a person, place, or thing. That person could be a family member. It could be an ex friend. It could be an ex lover. But you had to take the blindfold off just to see it, just to really stand in your power. Right? Remember, you all are very logical signs, very earth signs. You need to see it, taste it, touch it, feel it, smell it, right? And your signs come through your skin, the largest organ. So something in you, you like, okay, I'm going to use everything I have in me to get to the bottom of this. I need to move forward, right? So when you took the blindfolds off, see, this is the the beauty of taking the blindfolds off is recognizing that everybody has good in them, but they also have bad in them, right? Which one are you going to choose? Bad would be fear, doubt, addiction of some sort, right? That's the bad, that's the evil in people, that's the devil in people. But the God in you is operating by faith. Remember, you are a God. Right? And so when you took the blindfold off, you were able to see both sides of people. Right? You were able to see the good in them, but you were also able to see the bad in them. And then you decided to start weighing, is it worth me staying in these relationships with people who I've been through the fire with? But they wouldn't allow me to be on fire. Like, use that same flame to fuel your creativity and your emotions to move forward, right? So you had to burn that relation to a, relationship to a crisp and move forward. So when we talk about death and rebirth, death just means the end of a cycle. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean what people think. Let me pull this card in close. See how this hood, like, the death, and but in here is a rebirth, Right? Look at all these stars shining bright, very much like here. So this person is going through a grieving process. They're grieving the end of relationships, right? But when they really looked, it was actually a rebirth, right? Rebirth means the beginning of a cycle. That means when you're starting to flourish. So with them, you were so distracted, constantly being burned by them, they weren't supporting your dreams. They weren't supporting your creativity. weren't supporting anything, right? But without them, you're really starting to flourish. You get the point? Good. You're healed, right? You see more stars, right? Of course, you see bright. And then you see the sun, which is the largest star, right? This is where you like really, really, really get into all the things that you see without a person. Death, rebirth means change, new beginning, an ending of some sort, a transformation. So it just means simply that the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one, right? Let's talk about 11-11 for just a second. I'm trying to help people get to this new world that you're going to create for yourself, that you, only you, can create for yourself, right? People are still sitting around waiting for this new world to happen, not even realizing that it's already here. <laughs> you just have a remnant of people who are like they're on a conveyor belt. They're just kind of going with the flow, but they're operating in fear. Then you have another group of people, a remnant of people, who are like, no, I now know what it means to be a God that I can create my new world. This new world for me means operating without any fear whatsoever. I am completely healed. Yes, I'm unapologetic. I learned how to balance out my energy. I took the blindfolds off. 
I took the blindfolds off. I see things for what it really is. No longer am I bound by um, family relationships or people who don't want to support me. No longer am I bound by exes who didn't want to support me. Ex-friends, ex-lovers, ex-whomever. 1111, when you see 1111, 1111 is a light that's illuminating an issue in your life, right? So most people have seen 1111 on a clock, on a receipt, your computer, whatever. But 1111, right? Um, so in order to walk through the two pillars of 1111, you really must leave behind everything. And when I say everything, that's excluding nothing. That's um, preconceived ideas. You're leaving behind beliefs, suppositions, expectations, or worries, fear. Essentially, you're leaving the past behind. The only thing that you're embracing is something that's constant, which is eternal life and timelessness. That's it. That's all you're embracing. Timelessness and eternal life, right? Death, again, to some people is fine. They is finite. It's that's the end of it. But it actually is rebirth, right? Where you're flourishing. Some people are so used to surviving the thought the concept of even thriving is foreign. Like when people say, no, 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 I was, I was surviving for before, now I'm thriving. This is what thriving is, being completely and totally healed, right? You can even feel it in your body that you feel better. It may feel different at first because of the grieving process. You may go through a point, period, where you're a little sad. Gosh, this person doesn't call me anymore. They don't visit. You know, I, I wonder if, if I was too harsh in what I said. The answer is no. If you need a confirmation, there you go. Answer is no. No, you were not too harsh. It needed to happen. It needed to happen. It needed to happen. Because if it didn't happen, you would still be like this. Sad, crying, anxiety ridden, whatever. They're not calling you anymore. They're not talking to you. Listen, you've crossed over. New world. New world. Here we have uh, the Queen of Cups. So see this crown right here? This is God level of clarity. This is your crown chakra, right? Getting to a God level of clarity. Some of you, many of you all have started meditating, right? Meditating on what it would look like, just this new feeling, okay? They're not calling me anymore, but guess what? I'm sleeping better. I'm not as stressed. I'm not worried about this. I don't have this, like, this nervousness in the pit of my stomach, when they, when they call or when they come around, hmm, I'm start, actually starting to feel better, right? Look, the situation was a tricky one anyway, so they were falling by the wayside. And guess what, Capricorn? You're not going back to get them. You're like, it's it. That's it. I'm not going back. Why would I go backwards? No way would I go back to any tricky relationships whatsoever. And I'm not talking about just romantic, okay? Any tricky friendships where it's a gigantic question mark, you're not going back to anything tricky, right? Um, or even tricky relationships within yourself, you know, your highest self and your lowest self. Anything that caused you to start questioning yourself like, mm, I just don't feel good about this. You're not even waiting for the physical evidence or physical proof. You're literally going with what your intuition tells you. That's the God in you, right? And look, with this extra energy that you feel like you have now, you're expecting wonderful things to happen. Good idea, because that's what's happening. You're tapping into your strength, right? So again, going through a grieving process. Where's the card? I just saw it, just saw it, just saw it. Okay, going through a grieving process after a death of a relationship. There's a period of time when you see the glass half empty. But then when you get up and you start speaking things into existence and start seeing, wait a second, now I'm at a higher frequency amongst the stars. You're dealing with people on a higher frequency. You don't even miss those people from the past. New beginning. New beginning. Some of you all have your amethyst in hand. Some of you all are wearing yellow, like my nails. Some of you all are wearing yellow and feeling great about life. Let's pull an oracle card. Welcome to the new world that you created. That you're never going back to. You're never going back to the old world. That's the past. Even if it was five minutes ago. Sex. 
yes okay let's get to it right so we're talking about passion right what are you passionate about right what is it that you're passionate about like what is it that creatively when we talk about this like what is it that's like really stirs some emotion up in you where you're just like oh my god i re i could i could do this all day every day and you're not even worried about the the financial compensation because you already know that it's coming right you already know that the comp the financial compensation is coming and literally because you took that step to heal i mean like really heal People are falling out of range. You feel excited because of this new energy that you have. You got your amethyst, which is helping you. What amethyst actually resonates with the crown chakra. You fully tapped into your strength. See this infinity sign right here? Okay, looks like an eight, right? So it looks like infinity sign, but when it's upright, it's the number eight. Guess what? That's the money exchange number. You got your vision in place. You know, you've been visualizing things. So your vision is in place. But also you're putting action behind it and that's generating a lot of currency, financial wealth, financial freedom. But that part of you, this is where you are in the rebirth. You're in your new world when you do that. So guess what's happening? You're about to move into a new phase, Capricorn, where we're having a new we're gonna get a new moon, right? In six days, right? Look at the number six, even though we're not talking about the number six, and I didn't want to confuse anybody because we we're talking about eleven eleven. But look at the number six. It looks like a pregnant woman that's about to give birth to something. When you see the number six, this is about you're about to give birth to something major, right? In six days from now, right? That's the new, the new moon. So for new moon energy, you want to start planting your seeds again because this happens every month, every single month. Start just preparing yourself. When you know a new moon is coming, okay, what seeds am I going to plant? I got to make sure I keep it close to the cuff. I can't tell everybody because not everybody is either going to be on board. Some people are going to use it against me, whatever. I got to make sure I got my soul tribe in place. Even if, Capricorn, your soul tribe is just you. You're telling it to your highest self, not even to your lowest self because your lowest self is going to... Um, is going to doubt it, right? What do I mean by lowest self, right? The lowest self is the ego. That's where you're edging the God in you out. Lowest self will cause you to be overly serious, critical, melancholy, unforgiving, and suspicious of everything, specifically for you, Capricorn. So you always want to intentionally, <clears throat> excuse me, stay at your highest frequency. And so those parts of yourself is what you want to let die, not just people, it's not just people. It could be things within ourselves, right? So we got this death rebirth, and we also have this thing falling by the wayside. What's falling by the wayside for you is being overly serious, critical, melancholy, unforgiving, and suspicious of everything that's coming your way. What I mean by that, Capricorn, before I close this out is, let's say, for instance, you put out in the universe, you know what? Um... Uh, what else what you, what could you put out in the universe? Okay, I, I, uh want to make more money, right? I am wealthy, right? Money flows to me like water. Let's say you put that out in the universe. The very next day on your job, a position becomes available, like almost doubling what you make right now. You're like, okay, this is way too good to be true. This has to be a coincidence. Actually, it's not. You put it out in the universe, right? So you're like, okay, well, I wonder if I would have, if I applied for that job, if I would get it. You look at the qualifications, boom. You meet every last single qualifications and then some. Mm, okay, because you're a very logical science, you need proof. Okay, I'm going to apply for it, but I still don't necessarily believe it. See, when you get to a place where you are removing all doubt and all fear and all addiction to some sort and you are completely healed, you'll say, you know what, I'll apply for the position. It's double my salary, what I'm making right now. Um, I know that's my position, and you start speaking it into existence, and where's that card? You start expecting things to happen, right? Let's talk about outside of your job. Let's say, again, you're completely healed from all fear and doubt. All of that's falling by the wayside. You're not going back to pick it up and get it. It's like trash. I'm not going back out there in the trash and picking up fear and doubt. 
let's say, okay, I want to start a business, but nobody around you is supporting you, Capricorn. You say, you know what? I'm just going to do it because I know my business is going to be successful. Matter of fact, I'm walking away from all fear and doubt and addiction of some sort, whether it comes in human form or whether it comes from within. I'm breaking up with it. I'm done. It's, um, it's over. I'm going to sit down somewhere. I'm going to meditate, get to the God level of clarity. I'm going to see myself there and boom, watch I manifest it. Because I know how to plant seeds. I know how to water the seeds. Let's pull an oracle card. New world. You're clearing your space. Continuing to declutter. Yes. Boom. That's for you. We already got this card. Now we have this card, right? You're going after your passion. You're clearing your energy space. And things are happening for you. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. Have a fantastic Sunday. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you set. Don't forget to go back, come back and check later on this week to watch the second video for you. Bye.